Okay, so we are going to work on our on shape practice parts sheet one. So what I'm going to do is create this back vertical piece first and then work from there. So as you watch this video, I want you guys to have your assignment open and looking at practice sheet one, number four. So you can kind of see what I'm doing as I do it. Now for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna draw just all the lines first so you can see the general shape. Then I'm gonna go back in and dimension each of those lines. Kind of lets you see uh, my path to creation a little better. Um, if I were typically making this, I probably would dimension it as I go, um, but that can kind of uh, become unclear for some learners. So I hit sketch. I'm gonna choose this front plane. Now, you know, I always like to click front so I'm nice and square on this. This drawing's a little weird because there's like a little notch in this, okay, where uh, below that arc, there's like a little shelf. So I'll show you. Ooh, I almost messed up already. I got to make sure this is in millimeters. So I click on the little hamburger, workspace units, millimeters. Wow. Okay, now I can go edit my sketch and get back to work. So I'm going to start with the line. Goes down like this, over like this, up a little, got a little bit of an angle, and then I go over, and then from here, this is an arc. And I'm just randomly putting those in. To do an arc, I click once, I click twice, and pull my arc out until I get this tangent symbol. That's a circle with a line next to it. Okay, now that's that basic shape. There's also a circle in here. I'm going to use that same center point as my arc. I put in the circle. That would be the hole when I go to extrude, okay? Now, from here, I'm going to dimension this. Uh, and I'm going to click this dimension tool right here. It doesn't really matter where you start. Um, I'm going to start with this little piece right here. So that, whoa, I, I do that pretty dang close. That's supposed to be 10. Okay. Uh, this line across the bottom is 70. Not so close on that one, Mr. K. This one's 10 as well. Great. Okay. Um, it doesn't give us a degree of this angle, but what it does do is give us the length of this up here, which is 30. So if I put those dimensions in, it forces this to be the correct angle. Okay. The next things I'm missing would be the radius of this arc. So arcs are always measured in uh, its radius. Okay. In this situation, though, it gave us a diameter on the drawing of 40. Well, Pretty sure we can figure out what 40 divided by 2 is. Okay. And that brings us up to the ultimate size. And that inner hole has a diameter of 20. Okay. And that's all you need to do to lock this in. By making this radius, okay, go to here, it establishes the total height of the object. Okay. Now, guys, was that too fast? Okay. Now I finish that sketch. I extrude. I always like to look at it in 3D. Okay, so I click on the surface I want to extrude, and that only gets extruded 10 millimeters. 10. Hit OK. And now I have this little bottom part to make, okay, with another hole in it. So I'm going to make a new sketch on this bottom surface. New sketch. I want to look at it from the bottom. Okay. Now this is. Two lines, line, line, up. Now, look, if I go over here and hover over this dot, see how it gives me those little kind of ants along the way to make those line up? Little trick there. Three point arc, click to start, click to end, pull out to its tangent. This also has a hole in the middle. Use that same center point. And now we got some serious dimensioning to do. Grab my dimension tool. Boom. Okay, the radius of this arc is 20. 20. The radius or the diameter of that inner hole is 20. Okay, now we just have to dimension how far away this is from here. And it tells us that that is 40. That's in that right side view. 40. That's it. Okay, that's it. I finish it. 
I extrude it. I always like just drag this arrow to the correct direction. I think that's easier. Okay. So I drag it into the correct direction, then type in my dimension. 10. Okay. That's it. You want to make it a pretty color? Sure. Right click, edit appearance. Let's make it like a nice little lavender. Hmm. Pretty lavender. Okay. That is part four on practice sheet. One.